Well, hello, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your full moon reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful that there are scammers about. People pretending to be me and other tarot readers, so I'm not special. Um, I do not have WhatsApp. I do not have PayPal. I do not have Patreon. I will not take donations. I will not take your money. I do not have Telegram. I do not have an assistant. Um, all those things that they're trying to pretend that I have there. Um, I also do not do meet and greet, just so you're aware. So if anyone claiming to be my assistant or asking for money, ask for a reading. Uh, if you want a reading, personal reading, I do not do those either. Uh, please give them a wide berth. Oh, okay. Uh, that's obviously come out there for a reason. Um, but also they just want, uh, I just want you to make sure that you're aware that they're doing this, not just to me, but to other uh, tarot readers as well. So please keep yourself safe. Um, let's get straight to your full moon reading. Oh, wow. Straight away. We have, um, time to take a breath out, show the world, the real you, a personal issue reaches a resolution. And this one is, what do you need to release? Oh, weird. They want me to go again, just to let you know that this is, um, the pink moon. Okay. This is a moon that is in Scorpio and it's also a super moon. So very, very powerful energy uh, coming towards us on the 27th of April. That is the peak time for this, um, full moon. Um, so you will feel it quite heavily there, uh, especially in terms of introspection, um, looking at the direction ahead, keeping your eyes laser focused on the pathway, the dream, the goal, uh, because you've already set intentions there with that new moon in Aries on the 12th of April. Uh, but what's really powerful about the Scorpionic, um, I feel like there'll be a, sort of a push and pull kind of energy there. Um, and I feel like you're going to be going to be like investigating things further. Now, time to take a breath out. You've been working really hard there, Virgo. Make sure you got some time out for yourself to replenish your energy, um, especially as we come up to that full moon. Now, um, because the energy will shift, you may feel like more drained or you cannot sleep around that time. You may notice that, especially around super moon times. Um, so just be mindful of that. OK, we've got a personal issue reaches a resolution. So something is coming to the end there, something that maybe emotionally you're a little bit nervous about. We've got show the world the real you. Now, Virgo, I feel like you do. You very much uh, are very honest. You lead with authenticity. And, um, you know, I feel you're very uh, dependable, grounded, reliable kind of energy. Um, and I'm going to say this, Virgo, um, please don't shoot the messenger because I understand this energy. Um, this is just what they're giving me. Uh, you're all of those things when you're completely invested in something, but it may take you a while to really work out whether you want to be invested in something first before you decide to commit yourself fully. Okay. So sometimes you may dip your toe in the water, whether that's career or business or love. Um, I feel very much like, uh, you really think about it first. Now, you know, sometimes they say Virgo has a bit of analysis paralysis, but I feel like you just want to make it right. You don't want to get, you know, um, you don't want to make a wrong move as it were. It's not anything to be negative about, or, uh, I, you know, if you need to take time, always take the time you need, but the show the world, the real you, sometimes I just get this energy Virgo that sometimes, um, you know, now let me put this Okay, so sometimes you may think of yourself, because you're uh, sort of an earth sign there, sometimes people may misconstrue you as being, um, you know, you got your rules, you've got your lists, you know, uh, you're very dependable, uh, which sometimes people think is boring. That is not the truth at all, okay? So don't be afraid to shine your wonderful light. Virgo, you have an, a wonderful inner world and you are also very passionate, very kind, uh, so refreshing, uh, so funny as well, really witty, uh, sharp wit there and the intellect to boot, I mean, intellect off the charts. Um, but people always see you as this person who's always planning ahead. And of course you're doing that, but your brain is working like a mile a minute. Okay. All the time thinking about the next plan and the next thing. And, you know, sometimes you need to come up for air. Um, Remind people sometimes of how you like to have fun and how you love to have fun because they're just giving me, they're just showing me a child with a balloon right now. So, um, 
Now, either you have a child that's with a balloon right now and you're looking at that and that's what I'm seeing, but I feel like it's a little reminder to uh, remember to have fun, okay? Um, because you've been working through some heavy energy recently, trying to have all the plates spinning, trying to keep the plan going, working really hard. Remember some downtime, okay? Remember to do, uh, to have fun. Okay, we all need a reminder sometimes. Uh, I'm definitely a culprit where, you know, I work a lot and sometimes I forget to have fun. Um, but it is the balance and variety is the spice of life. So what do you need to release? Okay, um, something that may be a heavy burden there. What do you need to release? Something that you may have gone cold on. Okay, I'm just getting this energy that you may have lost your mojo for something recently um, and you're wondering whether you want to continue this whether this is love or whether this is a career, we will be acknowledging both in this reading, just to let you know. But I feel like you've come as far as you can within a certain situation and you're not feeling it anymore. There's something there in your world that you're not feeling. Now this could be a friendship. It could be something that you feel like this person does not have your back or this situation has, you've outgrown it. It's okay to outgrow things, okay? Um, you know, we, we often outgrow people or situations because we're evolving all the time. So what is it that you need to release that you feel like is holding you back or is, uh, it's almost like they're giving me a sentence and I'm, I'm gonna give it to you because maybe it makes sense to you. They're giving me um, someone holding you accountable or holding you responsible for things that are not really your responsibility. Okay, it's almost like they're putting pressure on you to do something that perhaps you feel is not really something that is for you, okay? And you're okay with helping people, you're, you're wonderful at helping people out and you know, you always come to the aid of those who, who need it. But there's something here where I feel there's someone either expecting, it's like expectations, they expect you to sort something out and you're like, look, I don't have all the answers all the time, okay? Uh, so whatever that is, we'll see what, what happens there. We've got mediate and contemplate, okay? Uh, mediate and comp contemplate there. So some sort of um, discussion or thought process going on there and ruminating on an idea or something. Let's see what's coming up. Um, further in the reading for you. You may have noticed this tiny little deck right there. Um, I was so drawn to it. I love it so much. It's beautiful. It's um, a little um, crystal ball uh, pocket oracle book uh, deck rather. But when I got it, I was like, I'm not sure how I could work it in to share it with you all. Because um, the only thing I could do is uh, you can ask a question. It may give you an answer. So right at the end, I'm going to open it up to the collective. If you've got a question that you would like answered specifically, think of it, take a moment, and then I'll shuffle the cards and we'll see what we got. Okay. Uh, now we got the sun card. Beautiful. Okay. So it says here, enjoy success and happiness. Sometimes Virgo, success is not success until you enjoy it. It's wonderful to be working so hard and feel like, yeah, I'm being successful. It feels good to be working. But when you're just working, 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 remember, enjoy it, okay? It's okay. Don't feel guilty to sit back and go, I did this, okay? Or I'm doing this. Um, it's okay. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of positivity around you. Um, there may be a shift at first, but I feel like a very sort of auspicious time. A lot of success and joy optimism coming towards you, uh, but just remember to uh, enjoy uh, the fruits of your labor. Uh, we've got guardian angel, you are not alone. So whatever uh, process you're going through right now, if you're feeling like there's a transition, uh, spirit is walking with you, uh, they're guiding you. Ooh, okay, they said enough there. And we have autumn, release the old and rest. So again, they're giving the same energy from a different deck. Um, it's, it's, it just feels like you've come as far as you can within a situation and, and Virgo Spirit's just saying it's okay. It's okay to just let that go, okay? It doesn't, it won't be integral to your journey if it feels like it's meant to be let go. It actually makes room for something greater. And also we've got mountains, stand your ground, okay? So something that you maybe have to stand up to somebody if they feel like they're if you feel like they're expecting too much of you or something within a situation there, or there's a lot of responsibility being put on your shoulders, it's time to delegate or say, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm fine doing it all by myself. That's wonderful, but I would like your input, okay? Some people, they want to help when they know that they are given some input. Um, so don't feel like you have to um, carry this burden because the deck feels heavy. So, and it says, mirror guardian, take time to reflect. 
So again, uh, they're given that energy where you need to mediate or contemplate something, uh, just a little bit of temporary time out there to really think about um, where you are right now, as you can see, this figure is looking in the mirror there. So they're looking at themselves. They're really taking time out uh, for uh, introspection, enlightenment, uh, to see how far they've come on the journey, where they are right now and where they want to go. And if, uh, you know, the journey ahead, who they need to be on that journey um, to get where they need to go. Uh, what does success look like, for example? Uh, now, you may be asking yourself questions as well. Have you left time to find love if you're looking for love? Or how is your love life doing, etc., etc.? So a lot of introspection going on for you. It's going to be very deep. Uh, as I said, with the Scorpio uh, sort of uh, moon there, um, and it being a super moon, there's going to be a lot of um, investigation, deep, deep investigation of self. Uh, oh, wow. The energy here is, uh, it, I don't know. I just feel like there's a frivolous energy to come. Uh, just like a whoop, um, I don't know what that is. It's kind of like throwing everything up in the air and saying, oh, well, let's see where it all lands, okay? Now we got the Justice card, we got the, the Chariot card, we've got the High Priestess, and we got the Temperance card. Now the Justice card indicates what is right for you will never pass you by, Virgo. This is your protagonist energy. You just want what is right, what is right for you. You want the right money to reflect the hard work that you put into your job situation. You want the right love for, to match the amount of nurturing and care and love that you offer another person. Uh, it's, a, it's time for good karma, okay? Uh, now, the Justice card is about judging something. You want equality. You want people or situations to meet you halfway. You just want it to be fair. Is that too much to ask from the universe? So that is definitely the energy that you're in as you move forward with this uh, super moon there. I feel like you may be weighing up some decisions as well. When you get the Justice card, it is about weighing things up and deciding on a, a route that is best for you. It will affect your future actions, okay? So what you decide in this moment is an indicator as to what will happen in the future. It's like a butterfly effect, you know, that... Um, the ripple effect there, uh, cause and effect. So I feel like you are going to make um, a solid decision on something. Uh, they're actually showing me May, May 5th, in fact. Uh, May 5th, you're making some sort of um, decision that will impact the rest of your life. Uh, that's what they're giving me there. Now, this could be that you're signing a contract on a new job. It could be that you're signing um, uh, something on a home. You're completing on a home there because the, the Justice card indicates some sort of legal legalities there or legal issues, uh, contracts, signing things, um, but and trying to find the truth of a situation, make sure everything's above board and right. Um, I also feel like with this card, I feel like there's a search for the truth. On, on a situation. So perhaps you're digging deeper on something. Maybe this is a dispute. Perhaps you're going to court to dispute something or you, there is a, they've given me this sentence again, lack of accountability. So either there was someone in your world, whether this is a love situation, uh, we will be clarifying with different decks there with love and career, but there's an energy here of um, a lack of accountability um, and you seeking the truth, perhaps trying to find a fair solution uh, as you move forward. Um, it doesn't have to be to do with the law courts. I just feel like you want what's best for you. And I know that's an obvious thing to say, but I feel like you're not being, um, you're doing it on your own terms. You're investigating things for self because normally uh, the justice card is number 11 and then this particular deck is number eight, which is the number of self. So you're doing what's right for yourself. And that may upset the apple cart. It may put the cat amongst the pigeons for some people who have certain expectations upon you. But I feel like the time has come where you're like uh, cutting ties to anything that you feel is holding you back and moving forward for change. The chariot card indicates this. It's in the resistance position. Maybe you felt a stuck, you were stuck in a long uh, in a position for a long time there or you felt like there was a loss of control maybe even defeat in a certain area um, and I feel like now's the time to cut those ties that bind and move forward if you'd um, lost hope in a certain area or felt like something was not um, you know happening that you you know you're having trouble or issues in a certain going in a certain direction maybe you felt like you're being held back by something it's all, it's all systems go. I feel like you're moving forward. Uh, the chariot card is about action. It's about change, but it's also about motivation. Uh, you know, rising up to be successful, overcoming the obstacles with your willpower, determination, and your self-assurance to meet any challenge head on and choose your own direction. 
you know with the chariot card it is about being the master or the mistress of your own destiny and there is change here uh, the chariot indicates victory okay and I feel like you have what it takes to freely and truthfully um, move forward with your skill and you know if it's if you're feeling any fear in that area or any sort of doubt self-doubt I feel like you're overcoming that now um, and you're um, moving forward for uh, something quite exciting actually uh, now we got the Virgo energy here of uh, the high priestess there may be some sort of information that comes your way that allows you to breathe and uh, sort of take things in your stride because I feel like there's kind of a push and pull energy Virgo of uh, moving forward uh, but then going oh maybe I'm going too fast let's put the brakes on um, so use your intuition uh, it will never lead you astray here it's a time for blossoming but also getting uh, more knowledge I feel like this knowledge will make its way towards you it's an enlightenment a wisdom that um, I just feel like it just makes itself known or it comes to you in a very interesting way uh, I mean you may have searched for this information for a while and you just came up going oh I got nothing or it's not what I'm looking for and then it's almost like you may be on a social media platform for example and uh, you just look to the right and you just see uh, something that you've been researching for a while the answer is like in the side and you're like what I've been searching for this for months and it's just popping up there spirits indicating that is not um, an accident it is a synchronicity It's to show you uh, that you're on the right path in your way of thinking um, now uh, this card the high priestess she's mute okay male or female not a gender specific reading it's about the energy but this is an energy of um, trusting in the process knowing that the universe is about to deliver something uh, that, that you know uh, the universe is working behind the scenes to bring you what you want and it will balance things out if you felt like there was a delay for a while it was because you didn't have this information there's something here that is necessary to your journey forward um, so it will unlock everything for you that's what they're indicating here with this um, the high priestess understands things intuitively and not just with the intellectual mind okay so because you have the intellect already in spades Virgo um, I feel like you're using and tapping into that intuition that you are given um, to navigate your way ahead and we have the temperance card temperance is about patience it's about uh, you know balance moderation harmony um, but also you've waited a long time for this okay uh, I feel very much like uh, you've been frustrated for a while um, and you felt like things were uh, stuck in a rut but now things are coming into balance and um, I feel like that downtime or that uh, time of inaction allowed you to re-examine your priorities and it will allow you to have that reflection that spirit is indicating here rest and reflection uh, to sort of see where you give your energy to you know and to give it balance to healthy things or people or situations you know not just to energy vampires okay so uh, let's see a little bit closer what's going on in your career thank you so much spirit guys going angels what's going on for my beautiful Virgo regarding oh they want more um, regarding this uh, full moon period super moon in Scorpio the pink moon now it will not really appear pink it's about uh, there's a certain uh, flower or plant that is pink that grows around about this time of year that's where it gets its name from um, we got the Emperor you're totally bossing up here uh, we've also got the four of air uh, we have oh gosh we got the four of water we've got the ace of water we got the wheel of fortune and we got the nine of fire now I shuffle those cards you saw me I got no control over these cards whatsoever spirit gives you the cards that you want or you need to see for each reading uh, but if you've got a placement in uh, Libra okay Virgo they got similar cards to you so very very interesting I think they got every one of those cards every one and I feel like they got an extra one that you didn't get in this particular uh, spread but we got the Emperor this is about uh, strategy moving forward with a plan okay this is about success it is uh, being a leader you have leadership skills you may be stepping into a, a role that gives you more responsibility but on your own terms Virgo again male or female non agenda specific reading is about the energy I feel like uh, if you're partnering up with people or uh, companies there I feel like you'll abide by the rules of course but you will inject your something something you know your little uh, sort of originality to the role or if you're an entrepreneur you're doing things on your own terms and uh, you may be kind of like building a solid uh, financial future for yourself um, being your own boss um, I feel like here you may be 
connecting to people uh, in authority to find your way or get advice on uh, your way forward, especially when you're dealing with uh, it crossing the justice card there. That indicates that there is uh, perhaps contracts that legally you may want to look over with um, someone in authority or, you know, pay close attention to the details on these contracts because we've got a nine of fire here. Nine of fire is a cautionary energy. You know, you don't have to rush into anything. Please look at the fine details. Now this could be that, um, you know, there is a, they're giving me the secondary energy over here, so uh, I will address it. Uh, this could be that there's a new boss wherever you work, Virgo, and they may bring in new contracts, or there may be some sort of merge between companies where they bring in a new contract for the workers, and you're all obliged to either um, reapply for your job or get a new contract for your job. Um, Pay close attention to this to the to the fine details because there's something here about perhaps um, benefits uh, not being the same. So you know where you were or the contract that you currently have may have more benefits as a worker than they will with the new contract. You know, like say if you work for a company for like 10, 20 years and you got all the great benefits, for example, you got all, if a redundancy plan, you'd have quite a large amount of money, et cetera, et cetera. With a new contract, that takes away everything that went before because your new start date will be on that date, okay? I don't know why they're giving this to me. It's gotta be for somebody out there. Um, so. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to be resonating for everyone. Uh, but if it doesn't resonate for you, um, please don't think it's not your reading. It's just an energy of paying close attention to anything um, that you're dealing with in terms of contracts or purchases uh, or any legalities, anything that ties you in there. Pay close attention. Okay. The emperor is... Um, how can I put that? The emperor is someone to be respected. Okay. Um, Now I also get, it's an energy of doing. So I feel like you're totally bossing up in whatever area it is that you work in. So whether that's you stepping into a, a new role with responsibility or doing your own business on the side, um, because they're indicating two fours here, okay? Building solid foundations. One is a solitary energy, the four of air. So now the four of air um, is about rest. Again, they're giving you the same message in a third deck. OK, well, kind of in a fourth deck, because the temperance card is about moderation. You know, make sure you're not going too fast. Keep it all balanced. Make sure everything's in control and move forward. Use your intuition. So the four of air is a solitary kind of um, recovery energy. Um, so taking some time out to really assess the way forward um, and have mental peace, because when this all kicks off, and it's going to kick off in quite a spectacular way. Can I just say that Virgo with that wheel of fortune? Um, you got to be ready. OK, you got to be ready for this. Um, and I feel like you're always ready, uh, but it's nice to get that downtime before you move forward. Uh, the four of air is um, healing energy as well. So if you've, uh, for example, if you lost your job um, at your previous place or you, um, you know, you feel like there was some sort of unkind or un, um, ethical, they give me the unethical, uh, unfair um sort of policies or unfairness that went on there um, and you may be going through legalities with them. Um, don't uh, overanalyze it and get uh, too anxious about it. Just rest. All will be well, okay, is what they're indicating. There's action. There's change here. Um, oh, we got a little bit of energy joining. I'm not sure if you caught it on the camera. The, the uh, candle sort of flickered there. Felt the breeze on my arm. So they're just giving me something. One moment, please. Okay. Um, they're just showing me someone with a bowl of, uh, it's like corn snacks. Um, okay, uh, you know, for example, if you got your chips, you know, um, it, these ones are little corn puff balls, okay? Um, they're round. So if that's you eating that in this moment, then there's something in this message for you, okay? Again, it's not gonna resonate for everyone. Doesn't mean it's not your reading if it does not resonate for you. Just want, uh, they just want the person who's listening, doing that action to pay close attention because their attention may have wavered. Now, the four of water is an energy of feeling fed up 
or uh, you know feeling unfulfilled where you are in this moment uh, in your career so um, I mean maybe it's because uh, you know some people are working from home at the moment so it's really tough to navigate um, working from home family life everything it just feels like in the end you're working like 24 hours because there never seems to be a cutoff point before if you're sort of working in an office you go in nine to five or nine to three or whatever you're doing okay um, but now that you're at home it's almost like home has become work everything's merging into one and you're never off Okay, that's the energy that I'm getting here. But the Four of Water indicates um, the universe is going to intervene and send you something really exciting that is more emotionally fulfilling. So if you've been, uh, for example, lost your job or you're looking for a new job or you've put your resume out there, uh, something surprising is going to come along. It's a really big offer. Okay, it's something that you love doing, something that really gets your soul, um, puts it on fire with passion, something that makes you want to jump out in the bed in the morning and do it. Okay, the Four of Water is often... You know, when you're feeling bored or you've come as far as you can within a certain situation, spirit says, okay, I'll change, but I feel like this is something that you may be actioning yourself, Virgo. Uh, and here we have it, the Ace of Water. Uh, now, we'll be clarifying love in a moment. So the fact that the Ace of Water has shown up, uh, there's definitely love coming on in here for you, and it will be a surprise. You will meet this person quite by accident. Uh, but in terms of career, the Ace of Water is about doing what you love, uh, a new project coming on in, something that you can nurture with love for yourself, okay? Um, and, and, you know, something that you really wanted to do for a while. There will be a proposal that's put on the table here. I feel like it will be long-term. Um, I feel financially, uh, I'm going to clarify that energy, but financially I feel like it will be quite lucrative. Um, and you'll be meeting your soul tribe. It's almost like you're going to be partnering up or finding people that you really get on with uh, who are like-minded individuals. Um, the Magician card in the reverse. Now, the Magician card in the reverse is uh, you feel like there's scattered energy wherever you are or you feel like there's... Because I'm just getting two energies here. It's like you've come as far as you can and there's scattered energy and you're like, I'm not sure if I want to do this anymore or if this really even suits me anymore. Is it worth it? I keep getting the sentence. Is it worth it? The amount of hours or in sort of, uh, yeah, it's like the amount of time and energy you put into it, when you put it against the rewards that you get from it, you may be wondering, is it worth it, okay? Um, and there's something here that you've always wanted to do or you felt like you did a long time ago but decided to drop it for whatever reason. Uh, you may feel that, like there was unfulfilled potential in that area. It may be something creative. Okay, so I feel like you may be revisiting this and there's an opportunity that actually comes right on time for you to do that. Thank you so much for it, guys. Okay, now what they are giving me here, um, the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, in the Moon card in the reverse, um, what they're giving me here is either someone has, uh, you know, lost their job or is, uh, you know, they're downsizing or this is something that may have happened already. Uh, don't feel like it's to come uh, and be freaking out. But the Page of Pentacles indicates, um, you know, it's almost like something has forced you to examine another avenue to make more money. OK, um, it may even require that you have to take a small drop in money at first. Um, before you move forward. A little bit frustrating, of course, um, but I feel like it, it's sort of, it's only for, it's almost like it's only for a short term, a short time. Um, if you felt like the, it would like be a crossover time before the money starts coming on in. Yeah, they're just giving me like the, another page of wands in the reverse. So they're indicating wherever you are, you're either bored or you feel like this is uh, not something that, you know, it's keeping you stuck. There's something here where you're like, there's got to be more to this. Can you tell me about the finances that come? Um, oh, wow. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. How would you like to receive? Oh, okay. Okay. So they are indicating here exactly the same energy. The tower card, there's going to be a surprise, okay? Now, not all surprises are negative, Virgo. Uh, that is uh, the, just the way of life. Uh, I just want to clarify that a lot of people see the tower card and go, oh my gosh, this is awful. Um, but actually, the crown chakra is blown wide open by that uh, lightning bolt, so fate intervenes. And the two people who are feeling quite stuck they take a leap of faith into the unknown. Um, if they stayed where they were, they'd be burnt. It would be awful, okay? So spirit wants you to move. They want you to move. They want you to thrive. They want you to succeed. 
Um, so, and often if you uh, notice my readings, a tower is always hand in hand with the Wheel of Fortune because it's basically a surprise, although you're getting a good one. It may shake you to your foundations at first, so it may show up as, you know, either uh, you, uh, I feel like there's an energy here of um, the crossover period, maybe a little bit less money at first, um, but then uh, it sort of turns out in your favor. The Devil card, now the Devil card is an obsessive energy, so I have to pull a card on why I'm getting this obsessive energy with this one. Uh, there's almost like an attachment here. It could be attachment to fear, uh, but I just feel this obsessive kind of energy um, and they're indicating there needs to be freedom from this. Uh, the King of Pentacles in the reverse indicates, you know, there will be that uh, sort of um, financially, there will be not as much f uh, finances flowing through at first, but then comes the celebration. Okay, uh, the Eight of Cups indicates you're walking away. The Eight of Cups in the upright indicates you're walking away from something that is emotionally not fulfilling and it is a celebratory energy. The Nine of Swords in the reverse indicates you will recover from this, okay? You will move on, there will be a new start, but it is the end to tormenting yourself. You're finally gonna be doing something that you love doing uh, and the money will flow from there. So if you're going through a bit of a hard time in terms of your career, uh, know that it will be better on the other side. I'm just clarifying the Devil card, yeah. There needs to be a, a detachment from a toxic environment before you can thrive and really be happy at what you do. Uh, the Sun card indicates you will let that go. There will be, a, uh, it will work out in your favor, okay? So if you're going through the ringer, maybe you've lost your job or they made redundancies there or your work life is changing beyond recognition. It may be a, a bumpy ride at first, Virgo, but, I, and I can't tell you anything wrong there, but there indicates a really solid offer that comes on in that will be a surprise for you um, that you will lead you to more money ev eventually now the fi uh, fortunes wheel indicates uh, there is a run of good luck okay a change in fortune here um, I feel like there's a turning point in terms of your career because of the shift so you will see the new job come into play at first you may be like a little bit nervous because either you're taking a, a wage that is lower uh, for example if you're setting up your own business becoming an entrepreneur um, you know maybe not as much money as you uh, hope for at first but then it starts to grow exponentially and it will really will thrive okay now the nine of fire also is a cautionary energy so please pay close attention to the details now virgo i don't need to tell you that that's your forte that is your superpower um there's also a little energy here don't uh work too hard okay because it's almost like uh, you may be running on empty uh, this is a wounded warrior kind of energy so if you feel like either you lost out on a position or um, something was just not going in your favor at first you may feel a little bit dented in the ego um, I mean that's human nature we all go there first um, but they're indicating here that you will persist um, and you will uh, move through it maybe a little bit of a tense time but just make sure you get some rest okay uh, interestingly enough they asked me to go one more so I will and then we'll move on to love okay thank you so much spirit guys great angels uh, I'm going to clarify some of this energy as well because they just asked me to okay um, aha, they just gave me sorry Virgo they just gave me we don't want to have scared them with the tower Okay, they just want to prepare you for surprise, okay? Because you've got a plan. Normally you've got a plan and a plan for the plan, okay? So if you've got your five-year plan, this may not be part of the five-year plan. It's, it's going to turn out better than the plan, okay? Um, also, I'm using The Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed You only read the uprights in this deck. Uh, so uh, again, look at that. Uh, we got the four, sorry, we've got the ten of water. Serenity, peace, good fortune, well-being. This is the big ten, okay? Contentment, total love and support, and uh, you know a time for plenty. So um, there will be uh, you know huge accomplishments here, a lot of abundance coming on in. Uh, but as I said, there's just a little bumpy energy in the midway, okay? Uh, we got the sun, so again. Uh, very positive outcome there optimism it will be a time for blooming blossoming in your career um, and I feel like there's a lot of success here for you on the other side of this shift 
and we got the king of water now either you are moving into a new department or a new uh, job a raise or promotion or something there and you may have a new boss um, this person may be a very fair person um, someone who is diplomatic kind uh, a bit of a peacekeeper and a mediator someone you can trust or this is someone that you're partnering up with in business could be a Scorpionic energy because uh, this is a Scorpio card we've also got that Aries card there as well so it could be someone with those placements who um, you know, help you uh, either be your own boss or step into a leadership role there. Um, I really do feel like um, being a leader, Virgo, I feel like you've got it all going on. I feel like you'd have the best of both worlds. You can see the structure, you can see the way ahead, you can analyze uh, all the data and everything like that. You can be a, you're a good people person, you lead with your heart as well as with the, uh, the analytics there. And I feel like you'd be very nurturing when it comes to people and supportive. So I feel like in terms of a leader or stepping into a role with more responsibility, I'd, I'd back you every time, okay? And I, I just feel that um, you're moving on up, but there's some sort of, gear shift on the way up there uh, that allows you to go uh, faster but pay close attention to the details okay now let's get some energy when it comes to love uh, interesting normally i would go with this deck but they've asked me to go in this one thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you tell my beautiful virgo what they should expect when it comes to love for that pink moon energy we got the star card so this is a healing energy uh, but also the stars are actually aligning uh, for a successful union. We got the Eight of Air. So uh, releasing yourself from denial. Is there something that wasn't working there for you, Virgo? Uh, someone not stepping up to the plate. Um, this is an energy also of a little bit of anxiety. One moment, I'm just going to get those cards. Oh, we got a Seven of Water here. So we've got a lot of choices. Ooh, and we got an Ace. It's a fire, so a new passion coming on in, um, but they're indicating here that there is a choice. Um, let's see. Now the star card is an Aquarius energy. Um, I feel like uh, your love life will be looking up. Uh, a lot of hopeful energy here. New version of you, okay? You know what you want, you know what you don't want, okay? And that's half the battle. Um, You've been through the ringer when it comes to love. I feel like there was some sort of healing that went on there. Um, and I feel like um, maybe someone, maybe there's someone you're not talking to, actually. Um, mm, I feel resistance with this card. I feel like either there's someone um, who uh, was ignoring uh, love here or ignoring healing. Uh, let's clarify that energy. Um, you may decide to let this person go completely, okay? Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please clarify the star card for my beautiful... Whoa. What is this energy? Oh, my gosh. One moment. I'm just going to go get that. We have... <laughs> this person may be a Scorpio. We got the King of Cups and we got the Lovers here. So, um, soulmate energy. So, this may be someone that you uh, were... Really, who's been on your mind a lot there, Virgo? Male or female? Not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. Uh, but this person may have Gemini, Aries, or Scorpionic uh, placements there. Um, someone that... Um, I feel like there's resistance here. Now, you may find that uh, in the next coming months, this person opens up more to the possibility of love, but you may have found that it's too late and that you're deciding to walk away. Uh, you may heal it in order to let it go, okay? Uh, just because we got that eight of air there. Um, now, this person, this person really feels like you're their soulmate. Okay, this person, uh, a lot of regret with this person. Uh, they made some bad choices, made some wrong decisions, but they, deep down, this person feels like you're their soulmate. Okay, and they feel like there was some sort of, uh, you just got them, you understood them. And um, I'm gonna see what happened there um, because I'm feeling this resistance. Now, either you're resisting this person or they were resisting the connection with you. Uh, can you please tell me what happened there? I don't wanna focus too much on the past, but it has shown up there as an option. So can you please, thank you so much. Slow, slow to offer. So was this you, Virgo? Were you slow to offer this person something or were they uh, slow to offer you something? Because this person, it seems like, it's so bizarre. This person seems to want to be all in. They love you. They, they love you so much. So either they had problems expressing themselves um, or too, too long to really... Because I feel like this person may have been a bit of an overthinker, uh, but it just took a long time. But deep down, this person's all in, so I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, they're showing up as wanting to be all in and heal this, 
okay but there is some new passion coming on in here uh, if you want the person in the past know that their intention is to come on in and uh, be the best of the the best for you they want to open up give a solid offer they want to open their heart to you um, so you can heal it because the star card is there you can heal that relationship should you want to okay but it does require action it does require change so both of you need to really want this but as the lovers card is shown up there that's the Gemini energy uh, that card uh, often is about uh, choice so it is your choice because you do have someone else coming on in and uh, you know uh, we'll discuss this card in a moment but the seven of water is about choices as well okay I feel like this person in the past you may have met them when they were, were obviously when you were both younger I feel like this person in the past had real commitment issues so either they had broken up with someone before they met you and they were in real trauma about this um, they never trusted anybody again that's what I'm getting it's taken a while to sort of can you tell me about this person's past relationship before they met Virgo just I'm just gonna quickly this is just for me I'm so sorry yeah oh yeah look at that I mean please pay close attention the overall energy is kind of like similar to um, they've given me a similar energy as to what's happening career-wise as well it's almost like something did not invest in you first Virgo and then now there's a shift and everything just starts to work in your favor okay so yeah this person uh, they feel like there's unfulfilled potential there um, and the page of Pentacles this person was uh, quite immature um, and there was something about this person's uh, family upbringing their home life um, that they have uh, trouble committing to things because they saw that their parents um, or their guardians did not invest fully there may have been a parent that was absent or in and out of their life uh, there's childhood wounding here I thought it was a relationship uh, the, it may have triggered been triggered by a previous relationship but I feel like this is deeper than that okay as I said I'm not gonna go too deep into their past but this is something that they've been going through and working through and they're coming back to try and offer you something solid whether you want it or not that is your choice with that seven of water uh, eight of air kind of tells me that you're thinking about letting it go there's an anxiety here self-imposed restriction now is this your self-imposed restriction or theirs uh, I feel like it's been theirs for a while okay uh, but I feel with the aid of air especially in this deck this is about uh, release from denial you're seeing things as they truly are you've waited a long time for that you you, you don't want to wait anymore okay that's what I'm getting there um, and then in comes an ace of fire now the ace of fire is new passion you will be talking to somebody new um, this is someone who may have um, Aries Leo or Sag in their chart this person's really passionate okay so it's gonna be hot 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 between you both because I got serious hot flush I don't know if you can see the color of my skin just kind of really went really pink uh, really pink white there uh, because it is I mean touching this card is super hot okay I'm just gonna let that go for a moment I'm gonna clarify some of that energy um, thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please thank you so much Woo, cause for celebration why is it you're getting all of the same cards Virgo no matter how much I, I shuffle this deck um, we got three cups here celebration but it requires you walking away from something that is emotionally not fulfilling okay uh, the eight of cups so that seems to be this person from the past who will be coming back on in of course if you want to choose a person from the past you can um, you know uh, I'm not here to judge and you everyone's got a different situation there but they are indicating that can be healed uh, if you want it to be but if you want the new uh, you have to walk away from the old and there will be celebration with this new person coming on in okay I feel like you meet this person uh, as a surprise let's see uh, uh, you're not expecting this you're hoping for it but you're not expecting it. what's this page of Pentacles just keep on popping up there what is this I mean need to clarify this okay sorry they just gave me it's not somewhere where you earn your money okay it's not connected to a new job or a, a raise or anything like that uh, it's not connected to where you earn your money and I think that's something that you would be happy about because I don't feel like you'd want to work with someone that you had a romantic life with okay um, okay sorry just they're just giving me something one moment please okay uh, this is quite precise and I'm not really sure what it means uh, but they're just saying lamb's lettuce and they're actually showing me some little green leaves lamb's lettuce is there such thing as a lamb's lettuce uh, maybe I'm not sure uh, is that something maybe perhaps you're eating if you're eating lamb's lettuce I mean I guess if you're eating lettuce no they're saying no it's very precise 
Uh, it's a very different kind of lettuce. It's like leaves. Anyway, uh, if that's you, there's something in this message for you. Uh, symbolically, I'm not sure how to um, decode it apart from it's something fresh and new. This is good for you? I'm not sure. Um, okay, what am I clarifying now for you? Uh, where will you meet this person or how will it come to being? Thank you so much. King of Swords in the reverse. Okay, um, now this is, they're indicating you're not currently talking to anybody. You're not talking to the new person right now. With that King of Swords in the reverse. Can you give me, it's almost like they, they're going, it's not where you work. It's not where you may do public speaking or anything to do with, can you give me anything more? Hmm. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? It's almost like they're saying you there cannot be a decision until you make it. There's no either or until you make a decision. And they're giving, that's exactly the same. Look, unless you make a choice, there's no offer of something new. So they're giving me the same energy. A choice needs to be made. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of you out there going, well, I made the choice and I do not want the person from the past. Okay. Um, but the Ace of Pentacles, they're just indicating that unless the choice is made, now this could be about twin flame. Okay. Because it's very strong energy. Let's go one more. Anything more about the new person? Uh, the Five of Cups in the reverse indicates uh, once there's forgiveness for the past, there will be a hope uh, sort of returning. Um, there is moving on. They're, they're indicating moving on and forgiveness and recovery. Uh, there will be a new emotionally fulfilling relationship coming on in. Um, but they're giving me the same message. So this must be very precise for someone. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, oh, my God. They just gave me, I'll give you the card when I get it because it's just gone under the table. Uh, but they just gave me a, a sentence which was, um, you're not getting the message. And now they give me a card that's really giving me the message. Was that the only card? Yeah. I thought it was two cards, but it's only one. Um, and it is the Six of Cups. So uh, I... They, they said to me, are you not getting the message? So um, the Six of Cups is a return card. Uh, it just means that someone from your past is returning. You have to make a decision on this person first, okay? Because there's nostalgia here. This person wants to reun reunite with you. They want uh, to be all in with you. Um, I mean, looking at this person's intention, it looks solid to me. And this person feels like a soulmate, okay? Now... I don't know what happened in the past. They, they, it seems like they may have ban abandoned the connection. There may be a uh, wounding there. Uh, so you may feel like this is not someone you want to be with Virgo, but they're indicating this person is going to come in and talk to you first before you're talking to somebody new. But there is someone new coming on in. Um, I really wish they would give me something more, but I feel like, oh, they just said not with this deck. Okay, uh, let's just try one more and see if they can give me anything more. But as you can see, I have to take what I'm given there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Tower, it will be a surprise, okay? The crumbling, uh, it will be a surprise here. Uh, it's almost like a lightning bolt. You'll meet this person, it'll be love at first sight. Um, this is the new person. Anything more? Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo. Anything more before we close the reading? Oh gosh, still, 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 Virgo. Six of emotions, that's the six of cups coming right back up. They're like, it will be a surprise, but you need to put this one to bed first. Okay, um, five of voices. Now five of voices is an energy of sabotage. Okay, um, you know, denying, denying something. And also, you know, making peace with something. As you can see the peace, the, the olive branch there. Uh, there needs to be peace made uh, from this situation first. I mean, that's, that's one, two, three decks, okay? Giving the same message. So I have to leave it there. Uh, making peace with the past first before new comes on in. Um, so you will definitely have a conversation with someone from the past, that's for sure. Um, and then once you uh, sort of let that go and let it flow, then there will be new, okay? Um, and I will leave that there. I'm just going to give you some advice cards before um, we move forward. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. 
Anything more for my beautiful Virgo? What do they need? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Um, we've got release. I mean, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Sorry, I wish you could hear what they said. They said, get it now. So I was like, I get it. I get it. Release. Okay. Uh, if you want to move forward, but if, again, if you want the person from the past, then of course, embrace that person. It looks like they're showing up in good energy, um, but we got release there and we've also got grace. Okay. Some things can have graceful endings. They can, you can leave a person with peace uh, just so that you don't encounter any karmic baggage. I mean, if this person treated you like an absolute douche, uh, you know, if they, if they were horrible to you in any way, um, shape or form, uh, then of course, you know, uh, phase that person right out. Um, and you know, but, um, the way you do it sometimes, you know, you can, I don't know why they're giving this to me, Virgo, but this is what they're giving to me. And I don't believe in revenge. I'm one of those, uh, evolved Scorpios. If you caught me about 10 years ago though, I'd be smashing shit all up. I'm oh, sorry. I, I swore. I do apologize, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, um, basically they're indicating success is the best revenge. Okay. So, um, you just, uh, if you don't want the person from the past, just say, hey, thank you so much for getting in touch and stuff. And yeah, what we had was awesome, but uh, I'm going in a different direction now. Um, and it's not your direction. So bye. Okay, so we will leave that there. Um, let's move on to Wisdom of the Oracle. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Bright Angels. I mean, I know there's a lot of passion, a lot of pain and everything caught up there. But have you ever noticed when you shout at someone, it doesn't have the same impact as going silent on someone or uh, just being, okay. Uh, and what, what is it? You know, indifference is the worst. Indifference is the worst because it really lets a person know that you missed out on this, okay? Uh, you chose to miss out on this, okay? So that's how uh, they're computing it to me. Now we got new life, number 39. When you reduce it, Three plus nine is 12. That's the hangman energy. You've waited a long time for this. Okay, Virgo. I feel like there's definitely new across the board here. Um, let's read from the book. I don't want to tell you anything wrong. Uh, they're just saying Sylvester. Now, I feel like they've said this before. Maybe not in your reading, but at last, maybe at the end of last year, Sylvester came through. So if that is a, a surname, a nickname, or, you know, it means something to you, maybe please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. 39 let's see birth of new ideas opportunity a breath of fresh air life renewing itself okay i'll give you the prosperity message first for career you have everything sorry i'll start again you have every reason to be optimistic right now as things just seem to fall into place magically new opportunities remind you that abundance is available to you delight in the bounty that begins to appear in surprising forms Stay curious and know that your hopes and dreams are being fulfilled. It's as if new life suddenly infuses in your projects, work and creative ideas with a kind of electricity that cackles and crackles with exciting potential. Fortune is smiling on you. I mean, that clarifies pretty much the whole reading there on the career. Let's see what the relationship message says. It says, new energy enters old relationships. Don't shoot the messenger, Virgo. Um, and new relationships are bursting with the sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter gives way to spring. This is a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion, and hearts full of joy. This card is a very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnerships in all forms. I feel like that clarifies the whole reading, actually, uh, Virgo. I'm just going to get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit Wives, for an angel. Can you please buy a beautiful Virgo? Okay, we have. Oh, we've got uh, a little turtle there. So slow and steady wins the race. Now, some of you may be thinking about buying a new home, okay? Because I'm just getting this energy of relocation. So either you're traveling or uh, booking a, voca a vacation or uh, uh, a move to a new home uh, that was in delay at first. It's almost like everything came ground to a halt. And now it's back on the move, okay? Um, uh, they're giving me the name Brian as well, just now, Brian. So if your name is Brian, then there's something in this message for you. Again, it's not going to resonate for everyone. So it does not resonate in any way, shape, or form. Uh, does not mean it's not your reading. It just means that they want that person to pay close attention. Uh, they actually want this on the Wheel of Fortune card. <laughs> so it's almost like fate is intervening. Where is the Wheel of Fortune card? There it is. Uh, it's almost like uh, fate is intervening in your situation to bring you this, the sun. 
okay? And they want me to turn it over. Oh, yes, uh, I forgot about that. Made with a smile, made with a smile. So um, there is a lot of positivity, a lot of abundance headed towards you. There's definitely gonna be something to smile for, Virgo. Uh, it may feel like a bumpy ride at first, uh, they want it on the Wheel of Fortune as well, uh, but that's all about to change, okay? And it's going to rebalance itself out. So definitely use your intuition. As you can see, your solution position is the uh, High Priestess and uh, the Temperance card. So everything will rebalance, but there's a bit of a bumpy ride overcoming some obstacles at first, and then you're plain sailing, okay? Now, finally, let's get to this little deck here. Please uh, have your question ready. Um, pause this video, and uh, I'll just... Uh, sort of uh, shuffle the deck and see what comes out for you, okay? Ready? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know regarding their question? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Thank you so much. We have, listen to your intuition, wow. And we got reconsider, oh, they said one more. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Thank you. Okay. So kind of a similar energy that we're picking up in the reading, don't go too fast. Okay, uh, pay close attention to the details. We got listen to your intuition. We've got reconsider. And we've also got not the right time. Okay, so uh, there's going to be an intervention here. Um, there, there will be a wheel of fortune moment which changes everything. So perhaps there's this information that you got to wait for before you can move forward on something. So please take that as it resonates, okay? Uh, just because it's not the right time doesn't mean it will never not be the right time. As you can see, the mushrooms are growing there on top of that clock. Now, what's interesting is even in the dark, mushrooms, they grow, right? So even in the mud and in the dirt, Mushrooms that are healthy for you. Uh, I know some are unhealthy, uh, but uh, mushrooms still manage to grow. So even in dark periods, Virgo, there is growth. So even if it feels like it's not the right time or to consider, reconsider the time in this moment, doesn't mean that when circumstances change, it will be the right time, right? Okay, we will leave that there, my beautiful Virgo. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, I'll be running another competition for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading. I'll upload that in the next couple of days. Thank you so much, my beautiful Virgo. Love and light.